Hello everyone, welcome to another day in Shroud of the Avatar and today I'm going with Scarface and I thought I'd just show you how I take down a troll. There are quite a few different ways of doing it but I tend to use my ranged deck. I tried my sword deck but found that a ranged deck is the way that I do it. So, and we need to make certain we've got all our strength buffs. Oh, and loads of people like to ask me about the character. We've got a uh, mixture of iron and metrionic iron, damage avoidance, and damage resistance on the character. Um, adventure level of 93. Stats, stats uh, strength 127, dexterity 70, intelligence 59, with a damage resist of 17.5, with a maximum of 63.5%, and avoidance 19. So, those are the base stats. Uh, skills we're using today are in the archery tree, most RGM. Or the important ones, I don't use this one personally, working on GMing that. And then I will definitely get that one probably GM'd as well. And we are using some other buffs. We won't be using Meteor Shower, we're definitely going to be flaming up the arrows. Could poison them as well, but I think we'll be generally okay. I like to fight him down the area down here. Um, I seem to be able to handle the rocks and things. I found if we don't get close to him, um, he will not stamp so much. So we can get a blind on him. I'll throw another rock. As you can see my health. Wing clip you can stop him from charging, but it does stun me. Make certain I get back up. Of course, to avoid the stun, then you just have to jump and you'll avoid the stun. Hit the wing clip on it. Again, he kicks back as well. confusion on this attack, which is unusual. The confusion what we tend to do is just run round him. Oh, it's going to kick me. And there uh, goes the first one. And no troll bits. <laughs> haven't yet managed to pick up any troll bits. Let's quickly go to the other one. So we renew our strength buffs. Bring it out, renew the flame arrow. And we'll go for the second one, which again keep them down here. The problem of problem with fighting him on the bridge is if you do get stunned or something you might fall off the edge. Oops, stun, don't stay down there. Ah, good confusion. So I just move around him. I found it's the easiest way of dealing with it and avoid most of his damage. So the stun finishes. There we go, stun finishes. Now we can start getting a swing of things. Here comes a rock. Miss it. Oh, did he get me? Yep, didn't get that one in time. And I'm confused again, so round we go. And confusion over with. 
end up jumping this one. And he's down. So you can see that this strategy is mostly keeping away from his major damage. Because if you do fight in close up, you've got to have good damage avoidance and resistance. So I hope you found this video helpful, informative and entertaining. And of course if you are new to my channels you can subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitch and help me grow those channels. Also feel free to leave any comments in any of the comments areas and I will get back to you. And thank you for watching.